So this is work from Tony Abram, Nikita Cole, and Joe Morales from UC Berkeley. I believe they're undergraduates at this period. And they took a database of rap lyrics from 1980 to 2015, so something like Rap Genius, and they applied machine learning to see if they could detect what was a hit just based off of scanning the lyrics, okay? So this is like an algorithm that updates itself. And it's interesting to me because I always felt a hit is mostly determined by like a good beat, but what they found is quite interesting. This project is built around the belief that there is a correlation between saying the right phrases or words or content and a song being successful, which you could argue against, but that's the belief that they are testing. And uh, it is weird they're ignoring the beat completely. What are their results? Well, the machine learning ended up focusing on certain things in particular. Uh, certain general topics of reference, uh, referencing places in particular, um, referencing brands in particular, and vulgarity, cuss words. All of those things were found to be more correlated with a successful hit song. Again, since they're looking back in songs in the past, they know whether or not it was successful, they can look it up later. So even without looking at the beat, they were able to look at the lyrics of any random song and predict if it was a hit, if it was on the top 100 charts, with 70% accuracy, which is is very interesting to me. Uh, so essentially, if they were presented with three random songs, again, just the lyrics, they would be able to accurately predict if it was a hit or not around two out of three times. So pretty interesting. Um, and they had a cool couple of bonus things that surfaced from this analysis that I will show you, some visuals that I thought were interesting. So let's scroll down here. And I have this on my Twitter. You can see my Twitter at, at Rap Fred Rogers uh, if you want to look up this more later. So again, one of the things that actually correlated to making a hit was reference, referencing geographical locations. And you can see within all these songs uh, how many times different areas were referenced, New York being over 2,000 far away in the lead. That's interesting. Let's see what happens. On the West Coast, we got Los Angeles being up kind of in the lead with 231. A lot of references from LA. There might be some skewing from both of those areas as media, big media, is run by LA and New York. Do you think they might have more frequency um, of being referenced? And I guess uh, my mistake, that was the Bay Area with 217 and LA like 719. So that's interesting there. That actually apparently, according to this algorithm, increases the odds that you will have a hit. Uh, also, vulgarity was one of the things that increased the odds you will have a hit, and in that is tied in with violence. So they're actually showing you a heat map of where gun references come from. We can see a lot up in the Northwest, LA, all of New York, and the uh, kind of like East Coast uh, is frequently talking about that. Even up in like Cuba, Jamaica, these are fairly big references. Georgia is up there. Mexico, like down there in like Cancun, Oaxaca. Uh, very interesting. This is also taking international um, artists. And here is a breakdown of the different themes that were correlated with success and weighting them by how much was successful. This big blue down here shows you that that's like half of everything. And that was um, li just lifestyle references, referring to a lavish lifestyle in and of itself just gave you a higher odds of success. Ashton Martin, Maybach Music, right? Uh, the next biggest thing was actually Revolution. So that's interesting. That might be weighted more by like the early 80s. Uh, and how much that was actually still something that was viable for success or also international artists. And lastly here, before we move on, this is a cool um, word cloud showing you the weighting of references. So that blue up here, and what are your lifestyle references? Well, let's take a look at them. And actually for context, if you follow my cursor, one of these very tiny small words between Apple and Lex is America. And America is listed a lot by a lot of artists. This shows you for contrast how much more these other words are listed and listing these words apparently increases the odds of you having a hit song which is interesting so Bentley being one of the highest Porsche Apple uh, Twitter is very big way bigger than other social media um, you know, again, there's going to be different things from different periods that are pushed. Like you probably don't see as much Reebok as you do in the like early 90s or 80s. Um, Nas himself is right around here. Is actually his, his name is the only one listed. So he's referenced not only by himself but a lot of other artists. That's interesting to the point where his name has become a brand. I think that's interesting. I encourage you guys to look at this more later. Hit him up uh, and look on my Twitter and check this out. There's some interesting science here. Hey. 